The iSpecial C2 from Shofu, the smart digital camera designed exclusively for dentistry. Previously only sold in Japan, the iSpecial C2 is the fourth generation to the iSpecial family. For over 10 years, Shofu Japan has sold the iSpecial camera and been in constant pursuit of improvement to enhance dental photography. Thus the creation of the iSpecial C2. The iSpecial C2 digital dental camera is designed exclusively for dentistry. Shofu's smart and stylish iSpecial C2 has been created for dental and orthodontic photography, case presentations, and at the bench in a laboratory. The iSpecial C2 offers eight dental shooting modes with 12 megapixels, intuitive one-touch operations, an ultra-lightweight sleek body design, and a large LCD touchscreen. The iSpecial C2 is for clinical case documentation, and it is a smart tool that will add consistency and efficiency to the varied needs of the active practice. Rugged and durable, the iSpecial C2 is scratch and scuff resistant, as well as water and chemical resistant, which is essential for infection control in the office. There is no need to wrap the camera as you would an SLR. Simply wipe the camera with a surface wipe and you are on to your next patient. With a large pressure-sensitive LCD touchscreen, the user can view and scroll through images effortlessly, even with a gloved hand. You can also use the buttons running down the left side of the screen for ease and convenience. The large screen makes viewing images easy and chairside education and treatment plans a breeze. The iSpecial C2 features the Flashmatic system with four macro LED lights mounted around the lens, as well as an inside and outside flash located on both sides of the lens. This Flashmatic flash system blocks out the ambient light, allowing for true color reproduction and consistent images to be achieved every time. The smart and sophisticated iSpecial C2 has eight preset dental shooting modes. Standard, Surgery, Mirror, Face, Low Glare, Whitening, Telemacro, and Isolate Shade. With one touch, you can quickly switch from mode to mode to achieve high quality, consistent case photos. Getting started. Now let's get started. Everything you need is included. The iSpecial C2 comes with four AA batteries, a four gigabyte SDHC card, a high performance Kenko 49 millimeter macro lens, a lens cap, a computer connection cord, a hand strap, a flash calibration card, the user manual, the quick reference guide, and Surefile photo management software, available for free online download. The iSpecial C2 comes with four AA batteries. To insert the batteries, flip the camera over, turn the dial to the unlock position, and slide the door forward to flip it open. You will then see a diagram next to each battery slot for how each battery should be placed. Next, install the SD card into the camera. To do this, pull open the SD card slot tab. Make sure to insert it gently, and with the back of the SD card facing you, push the tab back into place. You are now ready to turn on the camera. On the top right-hand corner of the camera, you will see the on-off dial. Turn the dial to the on position. You will then see the light turn from red to yellow, then green. When you turn on the camera for the first time, a series of setup screens will appear. Choose your preferred language, date, and unit of measurement. You will then be brought to the shooting screen. Remove the lens cap and you are ready to begin. It is important to note that each time you power on the camera, you will be brought back to the Quick Reference Guide screen. Touch the screen to begin. The iSpecial C2 comes with eight preset dental shooting modes. Standard, Surgery, Mirror, Face, Low Glare, Whitening, Telemacro, and Isolate Shade. Selecting Standard Mode. You can take the majority of your images in Standard Mode, including Anterior and Retracted Smile, as well as left and right buckle shots. Additionally, you can take these shots from various ranges to achieve the desired photo. To begin, press the F1 key or touch the mode button directly on the screen in the top left corner. Then select standard mode. Now that you have selected your mode, you will come to the shooting screen. You will see four options running down the left side of the screen. Mode, Custom, Patient ID, and Play. Next to each of these options, you will also see four buttons running alongside of the screen. F1, F2, F3, and F4. 
These buttons correspond with the options running down the left side of the screen, giving you the choice to either press the button on the screen or press one of the F keys. Both options are easy to do with a gloved hand. Selecting Distance Range At the top right corner of the screen, you will see three to four magnification range icons with varied distances. These are the icons as they appear in standard mode. In other modes, they will appear differently as they are unique to each mode. It is important to select the proper distance for the image you are taking. Depending on which icon or range you choose will determine how far back you must stand from the subject. This will ensure you get clear, consistent, and reproducible images every time. To select one of these ranges, turn the thumb dial located on the top right corner of the camera. Turn it to the right or left and choose your range. The ideal distance for standard mode is 9.4 inches, or 1 to 1.5. To the left of the number 9.4, you will see a small orange icon with a small camera. Below that, a distance range from 8.3 inches to 23.6 inches. This is the range in standard mode in which you can still achieve an in-focus image. Once you have selected your range, you are ready to take your shot. Notice the dental grid lines that appear on the screen. These are there to help you line up the midline or occlusal plane. When taking a retracted smile, simply line up the midline with the center grid line. Pull the camera back to the appropriate distance and take your picture. Built into the iSpecial C2 is the half press feature. When you half press the shutter button, the grid lines, distance range, and magnification ratio light up green with your shot in focus. You can then press the shutter button the rest of the way down to take your shot. If the distance range and magnification ratio appear red, let go of the shutter button, reposition the camera, and try again. Much like a smartphone, the iSpecial C2 comes equipped with a spot focus feature. To employ this feature, tap the screen. You will see a square box pop up. You can then tap the screen to move the box to the location in which you would like to focus. To remove this feature, simply press and hold the screen until you hear it click and the box disappears. Everything displayed on the shooting screen has been optimized to achieve high quality dental photography. It's all a special part of the dental design. The iSpecial C2 has many filters built into it, infrared, UV, and anti-reflection. But one of the most helpful is the anti-shake filter. Since the camera is so lightweight and it will frequently be held with one hand, an anti-shake filter has been built into the camera. Once in focus, even with a shaky hand, the iSpecial C2 will deliver clear and consistent images every time. An important aspect of getting a clear shot, particularly a retracted smile, is the depth of field. The iSpecial C2 has exceptional depth of field range. Many other cameras that have been modified for dentistry do not have an adequate depth of field, thus casting a shadow or causing the posterior teeth to appear blurry. The iSpecial C2 has smart autofocus and auto zoom capabilities built in. The camera has the ability to quickly focus and zoom in on the image. If the camera is out of range, the auto trimming function will pull the image into the frame as the picture is taken, thus ensuring consistent and reproducible images with no special photography skills required. Selecting Face Mode Face Mode will be used frequently when doing cosmetic dentistry or orthodontics. The most common series of photos taken in Face Mode are Full Face Repose, Smile, and Profile. Selecting an appropriate background for these photos is very important. A black or dark blue background works best with the patient standing about one foot away from the background. Face and profile shots are a requirement for cosmetic and orthodontic case planning and the iSpecial C2 is the ultimate dental tool to achieve great results. Once your patient is in the appropriate position, about one foot away from the wall or background, press F1 or Mode, then select Face Mode. In the top right corner, you will see icons with various magnification ranges to choose from that are unique to this mode and indicate the ideal distance. The first two icons show the shoulders in the frame. The second two do not. When you rotate the thumb dial all the way to the left to select the first icon, notice in the lower left corner of the screen the word up in yellow. This is a reminder that when taking a shot with the head, neck, and shoulders in the frame, you must turn the camera vertically to take the shot. 
When you rotate the thumb dial to the third and fourth icon, notice the word up disappears. You can now move closer to the subject, return the camera to a horizontal position, and take your shot. Selecting Isolate Shade Mode. Isolate Shade Mode is a fantastic tool for shade taking in the dental office as well as at the bench in a laboratory. It is also an ideal communication tool between the dental office and their labs. Press the F1 key or touch the Mode button on the top left corner of the screen. Then select Isolate Shade Mode. As before, select your magnification range and take the shot, all while following the cues to the distance and range. In this mode, two images will automatically be saved. An image where the gingival shade has been grayed out and the original color image. You can take images with a shade tab in the shot and even use it for immediate patient chair side consultation. Draw Edit function. The Draw Edit function is a helpful tool to use for chair side patient education, as well as for making notes to send off to the laboratory. Let's see just how easy this is. To enable this function, you must be in playback mode. Once you have taken a shot, press F4 to bring up the images. Scroll through to find the desired photo. Once found, press the menu key located on the right-hand side of the screen. You will then see a menu pop-up that gives you three options. Draw, Rotate, and Protect. Select Draw. You will then see four options running down the left side of the screen. Remember, you can either touch the screen to select one of these options, or press the F key that corresponds to it. The four options on the left side of the screen are an X to go back to the playback mode, a pen to begin drawing, an eraser, and an undo button. Press F2 or the pen to select the color and width of pen you would like to use. Once selected, use your fingertip or stylus to write or draw on the screen. You can make notes, draw, or communicate with your patient. Once you are satisfied with your edit, press F1 or the X in the top left corner of the screen. Another menu will pop up asking if you would like to save, discard, or go back to the edit. Once you select Save, you will be brought back to the playback mode where your new image has your notes saved. Selecting Telemacro Mode For Telemacro Mode, images are taken with the 49mm close-up lens. This is included with the iSpecial C2. This will allow you to isolate one tooth or a couple teeth, showing true color and immense detail within the tooth. Press the F1 or touch the Mode button on the top left corner of the screen. Then select Telemacro Mode. A reminder will pop up asking you to attach the close-up lens. To attach the lens, simply drop the beveled edge of the lens onto the lens of the camera and screw on. Once the lens is in place, touch OK on the screen and begin taking your photos. Once more, rotate the thumb dial to select your magnification range. Place the camera at the appropriate distance from the subject Line up the midline or center the image using the built-in dental grid lines. Press the shutter button halfway down to make sure you are in focus and take your picture. Additional shooting modes. The four additional modes are surgery, mirror, whitening, and low glare. Surgery mode is for intraoral photography from a distance. With an increased auto zoom built-in, you can achieve a clear image even from a distance while preserving the sterile field. Mirror mode is for intraoral photography using a mirror. Once an image is taken in mirror mode, an option to reverse the image will appear. You can either save the original image or reverse the image and save. This is very useful when taking the upper and lower occlusal shots for the clear aligner series. Whitening mode is used for true color shade comparison before and after whitening. The Flashmatic system on the iSpecial C2 allows for true color reproduction. This is especially helpful when taking before and after whitening case photos. Low glare mode is for photographing details of anterior teeth, working models, and indirect restorations. When using any of the other modes, the various magnification ranges and grid lines will all appear. Follow the same simple steps to achieve those high quality images. Photo review. Image playback. Shots can be immediately reviewed and played back. To replay an image, 
press the F4 key or the green play button on the lower left corner of the screen. From here, you can scroll through the images with the thumb dial. An additional option would be to press the F3 key or the icon that has nine small tiles on it. This option allows you to view multiple images at once. To scroll through the photos, press the F2 and F3 key or use the thumb dial. If you would like to zoom in on an image, press the F2 key or the magnifying glass on the left side of the screen. From there, you can use the F2 and F3 keys, the magnifying glass on the screen, or you can touch the arrows on the screen to move the picture around. When finished, you can press either the F1 or F3 key. This will take you back to where you began. At the lower left corner, you will see a trash can. Press the icon to delete images or press the F4 key to do the same task. To exit playback mode, press F1 or the red camera icon at the top left corner of the screen. Transferring images Transferring images with the iSpecial C2 is quick and easy, and you have two options to choose from. One, take the SD card out of the camera and place it into the computer to begin transferring the files. Two, use a wireless SD card that will automatically stream the images from the camera onto your PC or Mac. Wireless memory cards instantly stream photos onto your PC, tablet, or smartphone. It saves the staff time in uploading and makes chairside consultations and patient education a breeze. The iSpecial C2 also comes with Surefile, a proprietary photo management software that allows the user to automatically sort and file images by patient ID number. The iSpecial C2, designed exclusively for dentistry. This video has reviewed the basics to help you get started. With eight preset dental shooting modes, easy one-touch operations, and a large LCD touchscreen. The iSpecial C2 achieves high quality images with ease and convenience. As with any new technology, there is always a slight learning curve, but the iSpecial C2 is designed for simplicity in mind. The smart and sophisticated iSpecial C2 is designed exclusively for dentistry and requires no special photography skills, adding consistency and efficiency to all your clinical photography needs. For troubleshooting tips, the advanced manual, or to learn more, go to www.shofu.com or contact Shofu Dental Corporation at 1-800-827-4638.